Hey Doug, what you doing? Hey Alan. Um, so I wanted to just show real quick a couple techniques of taking a soil sample. So the um, for taking a soil sample uh, before sending it to the laboratory for analysis to get a report back on what the mineral um, makeup is in the soil. Um, I wanted to show a couple ways of actually taking the, the sample itself. So this is a, an auger, um, which you can purchase and is really the best way that I've found, easiest way to, to take a, a sample. Um, you can purchase one of these and share them collectively. It's a good tool to kind of have it as a group buy for something. Um, but then if you don't want to really buy anything, you can make your own um, auger or sampling device with a piece of PVC pipe. So this is a probably a three quarter inch, one inch um, diameter PVC pipe that cut to just a couple feet and then marked at the six inch mark. So six inch depth is where how deep you want to take a sample. That's usually what most um, laboratories will test the depth at. Um, and then that's calculated into the, um, the calculations for bringing back the analysis that the laboratory does. So six inches is um, um, a good depth to, to go at. And so I'm just going to show real quick one way to, to take the sample. Um, so using the PVC pipe and a, some kind of hammer, um, I'm going to take a random sample. So that's about seven to ten samples in a zigzag kind of lightning bolt. Uh, pattern throughout the space that you're trying to sample so you get a random sample um, mixing that all together which we'll show another video on but this is the the way to to take the sample so um, you just go down to where the soil is and so the six inch mark is right there so I'm going to hammer it down to the six inches bring it up and then in there and then you just use a of goldenrod or a stick or something um, to knock out the, the sample. So that's one of 10 to 15. So now I'm going to go do that same thing throughout the garden um, and tap it all into this bucket, mix it all together, and then I'll send about a pound of that um, mixed sample to the laboratory. They'll send back an analysis and then I'll be able to calculate what um, the mineral applications will be. Um, when's a good time to do that? A good time to take a soil sample is uh, generally in October. Um, that's when the, the soil life and the biology in the soil has kind of slowed down and so it's going to be more of a, a static um, reading that the soil is going to be giving. So right now it's still, there's a lot happening in the soil so it's still alive and when you take a sample um, that life is not going to translate very well into a chemical analysis and so taking this the soil sample when the soil is less active in October um, generally is, is a, a good good time to do it and then sending that to the lab getting the lab results back and then figuring out the analysis and amending before winter. So when when is a good time to amend the soil with? Um, amend between Octo October um, it's kind of a, a timing issue um, because a, a good way to apply minerals, one technique is to do it with the cover crop, so mixing in the minerals with the cover crop seed and then broadcasting that throughout so that when the cover crops grow they'll start to um, digest and assimilate the minerals into the, into the soil. But you know the timing for that is pretty tight because October is when towards the end of when you want to add the cover crop. Mm -hmm. um, but you can amend the, the soil anytime before the ground freezes, mixing the um, minerals with a humate or carbon source of compost or something so that the carbon can bind onto the minerals. Does it matter if in. the soil is wet? Um, it, it, no. No, I don't think so. I mean, the, the wet will help the, the mineral to um, solubilize and the, the wetness will hold the biology alive and keep the biology alive so that they can digest the minerals. No, I meant, does it matter if the soil is wet when you take the soil sample? Oh, um, no, 
you can take a soil sample when the soil is wet and then add putting it in the bucket and letting it dry. Um, you can let it dry or bag it up and send it to the analysis because they're going to dehydrate it okay. um, at the laboratory. So. All right, we'll put on some ideas of what labs to send it to. Yep, okay. yep. Sounds yeah, good. So let's see uh, what you do. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Doug. You're welcome, Ellen.